After an assignment at the Foreign Ministry in Paris, she assumed her position as Consul General at the French Consulate in San Francisco in September 2014. She is the first female French Consul General in the United States. We are honored. We are honored to welcome Consul General Pauline Carmona. Je suis Charlie. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, first allow me to say how pleased and honored I am to be with you today. Today is a very special day. Today we are celebrating five heroes whose courage, faith and dedication, dedication contributed more than 70 years ago to defend and preserve the independence of France and to save our common values, freedom, tolerance, democracy. I would like to extend a tribute today to all your fellow soldiers during the Second World War, especially to all of those who did not make it back to the country and to their families. The heroes celebrated today were part of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team of the United States Army a size fighting unit composed almost entirely of American soldiers of Japanese ancestry who fought in World War II, despite the fact that many of their families were subject to internment to very dire conditions. Beginning in 1944, the regiment fought primarily in Europe, in particular Italy, then in Southern French, and in Germany. Some also were part of the legendary 100th Infantry Battalion. The 100th Infantry Battalion was in combat for 20 months, from September 43 until Germany surrendered on May 45. After five months, the 100th Battalion had suffered so many casualties that it was called the Purple Heart Battalion. Even after merging with 442nd in Italy, it was so famous that it was granted the rare privilege of keeping its original name. The 400-442nd is the most decorated unit in US military history. It had suffered the highest casualty rate of any unit in the entire history of the US Army. So after combating in Italy, both units fought famous battles in France in 1944, in the region of Les Vosges, liberating and securing Bruyère and Bifontaine, and thus playing a very decisive role in the liberation of France. They played, it, they played this role at a very heavy cost. General Jacob Devers, commander of the 6th Army Corps, declared, in the entire US advance in Europe, Bruyère will be long remembered as the most vicious combat. Ladies and gentlemen, these heroes did all this far away from their home, from their beloved family, from their friends. You are heroes. It's almost impossible for us to imagine how much courage, how much bravery it must have required to cross the ocean and to fight over Europe as you did. Courage and bravery are precisely the qualities that Napoleon wanted to reward while, cre while creating the Legion of Honor in 1802. Your courage and your bravery are precisely the reason why the President of the French Republic has decided to award you the highest French recognition. General Eisenhower told you, the eyes of the world are upon you, the hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. You did your duty. You say to Eisenhower, you can count on us. 
and you saved France and Europe from hell. You saved people who you didn't even know. I'm here today to tell you that the people of France have not forgotten. Their children and grandchildren have not forgotten, and France will never forget. We, the French people, know exactly what we owe to the American people, to the US Army, to the US Navy, to the US Air Force, to the US Marines, to all the men and women who spend days and nights in American factories and shipyards to build the most powerful military force in history. We know exactly that we owe what we owe to you personally. Thanks to you and thanks to America, people of my generation were allowed to grow up in a free country. So on behalf of the President of the French Republic, I want to express the deep, sincere and eternal gratitude of the French people. On this note, and, and just one year after the celebration of the 17th anniversary of the D-Day, permit me to quote from the French president, who said, in France, there are many white crosses where lie some of your comrades who did not return to the United States. Know that their memory is cherished by all the people of France. The sacrifice made by you and your comrades was not in vain. If I'm here before you, it is because men like you did their duty. So now, as decided by the President of the French Republic, I will bestow the Legion of Honor upon you. Thank you.